This is Neely with Neely on Nutrition, talking to DJ Blattner, author of The Flexitarian Diet. We've talked about the benefits of it. We've talked kind of about what, you know, different uh, levels of flexitarian. And now we're going to kind of dive into the, a little bit deeper into like, talk to us about some ways, some actual practical meals that people can create. Yeah. So that's the greatest, right? You tempt people with this fabulous plan. And then it's like, now what, you know? (laughs) So here's the how to become a flexitarian. There's really three steps to take. The first one is to just reduce the amount of meat you're eating right now. You don't have to cut it out at all. You, I call it reportioning, right? So it's like, you're just basically saying, okay, instead of six ounces, maybe I'm going to only eat three at my meal. Even that gets you to be more plant-based because when you're cutting down on the meat you're eating, you're going to have to boop up the salad and the sweet potatoes and like all the other food. So that's a great first step. It's just reportioning. The second thing is this, oh my gosh, I love this one. This is all about reinventing your favorites. This is where you get into swapping. Swap, 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 swap. So I love tacos. Instead of like I grew up with beef tacos, instead of beef tacos, you do the swap and you do maybe lentil tacos. You know, you love uh, going in that same sort of theme. I love like burrito bowls. I think they're great. Instead of putting like steak burrito bowl, you would do a black bean burrito bowl. So you can take your favorite foods and just do the plant-based swap. And a good rule of thumb, I call it bean math. Uh, Bean math is for every ounce of meat that you're swapping out, you're swapping in a fourth of a cup of your beans or lentils. So I love that swap. I think a lot of people can play in that area of swapping. And then the third uh, idea here is refresh your recipes. If there was one thing I was going to say to do to become more flexitarian is once a week, once a week, try a new vegetarian plant-based recipe. At the end of the year, you will have over 50 new recipes, some of which you're not going to like, and they're going to be, you know, to the side, pushed aside. Some of them you're going to love and they're going to become your favorite. And really once a week. This is all we're talking about to become more plant-based. That really is, I think, the sort of take-home message about, uh, you know, becoming a flexitarian. That's awesome. So it's reportioning. And the last one's refresh. The second one, reportioning. <laughs> I say re. I say reinvent your favorites. So reinvent. Like reportion, okay. Yeah. Reportion your plates. Reinvent your fla- favorites, which is like swap, 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 swap. Um, and then the whole idea of refresh your recipe repertoire. Um, but basically just try a new recipe every week. Absolutely. Yeah I, have, yeah, I have my clients keep, you know, keep a, like a little library, a, a log, a journal of, you know, things you try and things that are like, ooh, that was good. You know, that's going to be one of my go-to things. So, yeah. It's huge. Um, I, for a while, was encouraging people to do like a dinner deck of like your absolute favorites, you know, back in the day when people used index cards, <laughs> now people are like, there's an app for that. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, but anyway, like I would say, you know, just put like, you know, your five to eight favorites and mix them up. And, you know, every week you kind of have your, your dinner deck teaching you what you're, what you're going to have. But, you know, the, the idea is if you love this food, um, because you've tried these recipes and you've picked your favorites, this is going to be an easy lifestyle because you're not going to force yourself to eat stuff you hate. You're going to be enjoying what you're eating. And that's automatic motivation to stick with it. Absolutely. And and one of the things too, that I encourage people to do, and I know that I read it here, but it was just like, really, what can you add to your diet and and to your plate to positive nutrition, empowerment, nutrition. That's where it's at. It's not about like, where's your list of what I can't eat. It's more about like, you know, flood your system with all this good stuff and you will naturally crave it more. You will naturally feel healthier, more vibrant. Yeah, exactly. So can you give us some ideas for like, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack kind of things? Yes. So I do have on my website for free is a three day sample flexitarian plan. So if you just want to print that out and like, okay, I'm going to follow it. Great. And it's very much in my style, sort of like a meal assembly where it's, you know, not super intense recipes or something. It's just how to put things together to be more flexitarian. So for example, uh, one of the things I love to wake up for breakfast is avocado toast, you know, so a whole grain sprouted uh, piece of toast uh, with avocado on there, maybe some spinach, maybe some tomato. Great. Maybe there's an egg on it. Maybe some days it's hemp seeds, but the idea is that you have that variety of changing up your protein. Um, I even will sometimes mash white beans in my avocado 
to give it that higher protein avocado toast. Mm -hmm. So that would be one example. And you see, it's all the same. It's like, it's still avocado toast, but I'm just sort of swapping that protein from sometimes eggs to sometimes hemp to sometimes white beans. And that's what a flexitarian is all about, making it more plant-based and really having a variety of plant protein. For lunch, I am an extremely big fangirl of bowls. I love bowls. Um, and bowls are like the heartier version of a salad, right? Um, so like, for example, I am obsessed with ranch. So I might do like a kale ranch bowl. And so that would have, you know, kale and all my veggies in there, you know, whatever kind of veggies I have in the fridge, I'm throwing in there. Great. Uh, you know, ranch dressing, love. It's so good. Uh, and then maybe I'll put some sweet potato croutons on there, like uh, just like cubes of sweet potatoes on there. And then for the protein, because I'm a flexitarian, maybe some days it's grilled chicken that I'm going to put in there, or maybe some days it's chickpeas that I'm going to put in there. So I'm still having this, you know, very bright, wholesome meal, but I'm swapping in and out those proteins in a flexible way, flexitarian. Uh, for dinner, I'm a huge taco fan. So I'm going to have corn tortillas. Uh, I'm going to decide, oh, do I want, um, you know, ground chicken, uh, steak tacos, fish tacos, or because I'm a flexitarian trying to eat more plants, maybe it's lentils, seasoned lentils as my tacos. And then I put all the cabbage and the uh, guacamole and the salsa on there. But you see, it's still that good, you know, wholesome food, but I'm swapping in and out those proteins in a flexible way, leaning more toward uh, doing like the lentils, doing more of the chickpeas, um, you know, in my diet. And for snacks, I'm a huge fan of the idea of produce plus protein. So maybe it is something like um, an apple with some kind of handful of nuts, or maybe it's like big, I love those mini cucumbers and I cut them into big spears. Like maybe it's cucumbers with hummus. Um, and so it doesn't have to be drama. Snacks don't have to be drama. In fact, I wish that people would just go easy on the snacks and pay more attention to having those balanced meals that has some sort of grain, whole grain, you know, sweet potato, some sort of protein leaning more toward the plants, um, and then tons and tons of colorful produce uh, with some healthy fats. One of my clients, she wants to go more flexitarian, but hubs kind of more of a meat and potato guy. So what here? So. Oh, I love it. This crying. Like when you think about the benefits of flexitarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked all about the health stuff, but the benefits really of flexitarian is you can live your life, right? You can like get along with meat eaters. You can eat plants. You can, your families can be happy and not fighting. Like it's great. So how I'll do mixed families where there's, you know, meat eaters and plant eaters is encourage this more flexitarian lifestyle where some days it would be more of like the meat and potatoes meal. Some days it might be that same meat and potatoes meal, but um, offering instead of the meat, some sort of like seasoned bean or some delicious like barbecued tempeh, um, something that, you know, still is the same meal that everyone knows and loves, but that protein gets to be swapped out. A lot of times families, what I'll encourage <laughs> really is to every, everybody gets a day of the week to sort of pick what they want. It's the parent's job to make sure that it's the balance, you know, variety of whatever uh, that person wants for the day. Um, and then the next day is the next person so that it's not like you think, oh, I'm never getting what I want. And it's like, no, you have your day. Everybody has their day. Uh, it's just on rotation throughout the week. And sometimes it's more plant-based and sometimes maybe not. That's great. Yeah. I mean, that's what's so beautiful about the style of eating is, is there the flexibility of it? You're, we're, we're doing good things for the environment because we're eating more plant based. And, and it's not, you know, I think that, okay, we've got like the vegan tribe and a keto tribe. We've got, you know, we need a flexitarian tribe, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> well, yeah, it, it is. Everybody. <laughs> it, it is. I, it is such a great way, uh, you know, because it's not so strict, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just, I love flexible flexible, even mindset, right? So it's like, you know, taking this even to the next level of things is like people who really are the strongest are the most flexible in the world and being able to bend and mold. Um, and so, you know, eating this way is no different. Yeah. Excellent. DJ, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, the hub of all good things is djblattner.com. It's my website that will bring you recipes, that three-day uh, flexitarian sample plan, but it will also click you into any social media of mine as well. So you go there and that's the sweet spot for all the goodies. And you do, you do a lot of media work. DJ um, has a World Series Chicago Cubs ring. <laughs> It's true. I mean, I like that ring a lot. I also like the crown of winning a reality show, though. I got I'm obsessed oh my with gosh. reality TV that, myself. 
Like I love reality TV. You so made dietitian. Like, you made dietitian so proud on that. You know, it's like okay, I'm not a fan of weight loss shows. Just bottom line, but it's like yes, something sensible that won. <laughs> like, yes, I, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more that it was like uh, you know, I, I used to pray when I was doing that uh, show. I was like made the plan that most people need in this world to help them win, you know, whether that be mine or another, like let's, what is of the highest good? And so it's like, bam, when I was like, I went, I was like, see, it's just eating real wholesome foods and being flexible that ends up uh, winning and is of the highest good. That was so awesome. Fantastic. You've been so wonderful. Thanks so much, DJ Blattner. Um, again, this is Neely with Neely on Nutrition and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Yay. Oh, that was fun. That was so fun. <laughs>